Hello there, uh, charity shop, deal or no deal? Hello and welcome to another episode of Stevie's Vinyl Cupboard. Uh, deal or no deal? Hang on, I'll uh, just get the expensive graphics to slide in from the, the start where they are. Uh, I still haven't managed the software. Okay, <clears throat> so is it possible to get a good deal at the charity shop? So let's put that to the test. So this is, um, uh, when did I buy these? Beginning of October or end of September. You know, the first week of October, um, 2022. And funny thing is, um, so I, they had a collection in um sometimes they have a little spate of these oh that's a spate of good records so uh, i ended up buying most of these um so uh let's go through them so and just a shout out to another vc video because uh i came back and in the evening i was watching a video on the 24th of september i'm looking at it now by harris pilton obviously his real name uh, there and just recent uh, I show my recent vinyl finds from the record fair that's uh, oh sorry that's um, that's uh, an advert don't want to hear the adverts Jesus um, with some, uh, let him speak for himself don't, don't mind me sampling the video just going to blow the VC wide open on him yeah right okay so that's uh, Harris Pilton so shout out to him and I commented um on his video why because he featured this uh so the the first of by the clash um the clash uh i haven't actually researched it on the date or whatever so i'm not going to bother but i'm just going to go with with values so uh so this one uh, i don't want to say the charity shot rhymes with mox fam and you know feeds lots of kids around the world and doesn't uh, any underage girls for sex in war-torn areas or earthquake areas or anything like that no uh so seeing the executives <laughs> um but yeah worthy worthy uh charity shop so that was 11.99 so that's 12 12 pound for the clash um it's not actually a first pressing it's a it's a well i think it is but it's a french pressing so um that was 12 pound and the medium discogs price discogs gogogs uh, so most people go by the median price. That's the the middle kind of what it usually sells for. Us. And this particular one, I found it uh, at fourteen pounds. So fourteen pounds thereabout. But obviously it's going to go up. So I'm two pounds up. So uh, then um, something. I'm only buying these because I want them. Most of them. A couple I might trade in. Uh, very pleased to get this. And again, this is a French pressing of the doors and waiting for some very uh, excited to get this one because i've only got one doors lp ever like quite like them when i was young just got uh, of course a double is it live lp i can't remember I'll, I'll, I'll hook it out for you this was coming in at eight pounds uh looking it up um i believe it's worth the medium price was 12 pound 80 so got a good deal on on that one again uh, a french pressing uh there and if you look there it's got a hole in it there um but it's always it was always good fun to to look them up but i kind of getting my eye in now thinking that might be worth a little bit more but it's something i want anyway so i wasn't too bothered about this came in at three pounds so this is the stray stray cats gonna ball and i remember them uh this sort of rockabilly trio on top of the pops doing quite well quite popular at the time so, uh, track listing i personally wasn't in, into them uh, and i'm not bothered about this i thought actually it wouldn't be that sellable so three quid discogs 10 quid so pleasant surprise there um so that's one to possibly trade in now i do like this band i've only got one of their lps which has pretty in pink this was a later uh, version so this is midnight to midnight so this is psychedelic furs and this has got uh it's got 3.99 on it and i don't know if that was a mistake because 
that's worth six pounds um, or they changed the price on it or something so that was quite good so fairly reasonable I'm quite happy with that it really does annoy me when they overcharge and there's one bloke in there that definitely overcharges them uh, this one um, I've got a little punk section going and Bow Wow Wow one of my favorites so I've got this by Bow Wow up this is I think when the going gets tough the tough get going so it's one of your their later LPs while they're still together and I don't know if you can see that <laughs> that had two pound fifty on it at some sort of looks like it's a bit like my writing but it's nothing to do with me uh, so that comes in at uh, five ninety nine six quid uh, look on Dick's was four quid I've lost some money how dare you uh, so I've lost two quid so anyway the last one the last one um, makes up for it uh, so this was uh, I don't know if you remember there used to be a saying uh, about the time of punk and people were quite you know the punk should have be the sort of anarchist movement it's all about anarchy uh, so you should say crass not clash or crash clash not crass um, so I saw this one here um, penis envy by crass uh, now um, very kind of uh, I think lyrics kind of ahead of their time um, maybe I'll do a video about crass um, I think it says somewhere on it pay no more and the covers uh, you open this cover up and it's a big poster so it's like a, a poster cover and uh, so I think this was their third LP penis envy um, now that was uh, priced at 9.99 now instantly thought well, that's I've seen that somewhere on the wall I think in the uh, record shop somewhere for like 20 25 quid and sure enough, uh, Discogs 26 quid at the high price is 37 quid. I've noticed you can't really um, get them. So <clears throat> all in all, uh, so let's do a bit of totting up. Um, uh, 36, 46, uh, 46 and 26 is 73. Yeah, so from 43 pounds, we've got a medium price of 73 whether they're selling that so i've got a couple in there i mean i might i'm not really a, a massive crass fan although i had a friend of mine that uh, likes all this sort of thing uh, back in the punt day and i if you'll excuse me for the thumbnail i've I just go to me maybe i'll use the title you know crass not clash or uh, class not crash yeah crass not clash it's got to be that's got to be a thumbnail, hasn't it? Okay, so thank you for watching uh, Deal or No Deal. Let me know if you think that was a, a good deal or a bad deal or you wouldn't bother. Okay, uh, Stevie's Wine Cupboard. See you on the next one. Take care.